Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sam. Today I'll be doing another episode of Forces Craft. In the last episode, it was myself and Wes. We did a co-op episode, and next episode will be a co-op episode as well. That's how we're doing this format. Anyways, we went up into the mob spawner, and we kind of set it up. So now it's an automatic mob spawner, and yeah, that's what we did. And I've got a bit of a confession to make here. That was the last time I played on the server. So I have not played on the server for a week, I'd say. I've got an excuse, though. Um, I The Steam sale was recently uh, was up recently, and I got uh, Dark Souls and Europa Universalis 4. And those two games have been eating up my life. So that's kind of what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, when it's going to be my solo episodes, it's pretty much going to be the same format as my Amplified Survival videos. A lot of me just talking to you guys. Um, while doing just other various tasks, like probably going to be doing some mining this episode while I think about it. That's probably what we're going to do. Um, not strip mining because that's boring to watch even on camera. So we're probably going to be doing uh, some talking. So that's cool. Um, I'm going to talk about what I've been doing this week, stuff like that, you know. Just like if you guys were some uh, old school fans of mine, you probably remember that format. Um, what did I just take? Except what did I take that wasn't uh, iron? Okay. Um, if you guys are old school viewers, as I already said, um, you probably remember that format. Um, I don't do it very often anymore, but this is a good series to kind of exert that. Now, I won't always be, um, doing mining. It won't always be that. I might have some projects to build. I promise, or I'm making a promise to myself that I will be working on the server more than I am now. Uh, hopefully. Uh, I need to cut down on the Dark Souls and the Europa and start doing more of this because this has become this has become quite the server. Um, to be honest, I a lot has happened in the past week. Now I could just do a big a little bit of an overview of that. I'll do that near the end of the episode. Actually, probably I'll do that near the end of the episode after I'm done my mining segment. So yeah, um, let's see if I can find a mine. If I can't find a cave in like the next 10 seconds, I might just cut to one because that's what I used to do and that's what I'm gonna do now. So let's just go up here. See if there's anything around here that hasn't been plundered. I highly doubt it, though, since I'm not the only one on this server, obviously. And, uh, yeah, it seems like people would obviously or already have hit up these caves. It's quite late as well, so if I sound like I'm jumbled in my speech, it's because of that. Um, I've been up all day because I'm not... I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> okay. That that was pretty obvious. All right, you know what? Um, I'm going to cut ahead to when I find a cave because this has been futile. Well, that didn't take too long, did it? I was just over there a second ago, and now I'm here. So here we are. Uh, found a cave that actually goes down somewhere, so that's good. Looks like it's already been raided, but um, probably not thoroughly, since when most people look through a cave early, I don't want to insult whoever did find this. They're not. They're probably a very thorough person when they do their mining. I'm just saying that whenever you're in here for the first time, you usually don't hit up every ore vein. Today, I'll be trying to grab as much as I can. Oh, full inventory. Shit. That was not a good move on my part. Uh, I do have a lot of junk in there, so I could drop off these seeds and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I'm here for coal, iron. Diamonds would be really nice. I'm not going to guarantee diamonds, though. But, yeah. Um, if I do find them, I'll be happy to pick them up. I'll just put it that way. Um, yeah. So, let's talk about what I've been doing this week. So, uh, this week, it's been quite casual, to be honest. Um... I, it's, it's been the summer, obviously, so I haven't been having to go to school, so I've been doing a lot of just stuff, I've been playing a lot of video games, a lot of stuff on Steam, I don't, I haven't been playing stuff on Steam in a while since, uh, I was quite addicted to World of Warcraft there for a while, but you know, that's really been calming down, I've been coming back to Steam to play some of the stuff I bought during the Steam sale, um, I installed Saints Row 4, because that was one of my goals this year, was to play that game, because I loved the third one so much that I was like, hey, the fourth one must be really good as well. And I've heard some really good things about the fourth one. So I hopefully won't be disappointed. I played, I think, the first mission and then this half of the second one. I am i don't know if I'm disappointed, but I'm just not happy because it happens in the same city. And I don't get to explore a new city. It's just the same one, which is a bit disappointing. And my gold just fell down there. That sucks. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if that's a bad thing because the city in the first one was... Or the third one, should I say, was good, but I don't know. They didn't design a whole new game, so it just kind of feels like a mod for the old game. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. That might just be me, but I, I was a bit disappointed when I find that, found that out. But yeah, I haven't really had a chance to judge it fully. I'm just saying what I had in my first hour of playing, but yeah, I thought it was it was good. I mean, it played the same way, felt smooth. Uh, it was always at a 60 FPS, which was great. Full graphics, I think. I think I had on max. I don't know. Either way cool game. I love the series. I love Saints Row the Third. That's a fantastic game. If you haven't played it, 
shout out to Saints Row the Third. You should probably go pick it up because it's really cheap during Steam sales and it's really worth your time. Uh, what else? Okay, I'll leave the big one for last. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of Europa Universalis. Um, that game is really fun. Um, think of it as kind of like a, if you've ever played Civilization V, which you probably have. I mean, that game is pretty popular now on Steam. Um, it's think of it as kind of a more complicated, more historically accurate, more in-depth version of that game. Except it's hardest hardest to, uh, bone. Is that what they say? Or hard as nail? Uh, hard as nail. Yeah, that's what they. That's the expression. Um, yeah, so it's hard as nail. Hard as nails. I think that's how it's said. But I don't know. I don't know why I'm using expressions I don't usually use, but I am. So it's very hard to play. Like it's it's a it's a difficult game. But um, I started to get the hang of it. Fifty hours in in the past two weeks. Holy crap! I've played a lot of that game already. And I mean, I'm not even done. Like I'm not even nearly feel I don't nearly feel like I'm out of content yet like it still feels like a really full game because there's more than like 150 countries to pick from and there's a mod that adds like another 150 plus new time periods to play at it's insane with the mod it just makes the game incredible as if it's not already incredible enough by the way this cave is great I'm surprised I found it but it looks like somebody's already been here by the looks of that cobblestone over there so diamonds are probably already stripped out of here sadly oh well Anyway, so yeah, um, Europa. Would I suggest it to people? It, you need to be a very special type of person to like Europa. Um, I'm that person. The game is mostly played in menus, which for a lot of people that are looking for gameplay, please don't, thank you. Uh, for people that are looking for gameplay, might be a bit disappointed because there isn't much of it. It's honestly just move troops here. Why am I, why am I taking so much damage? Ah, uh, crap, okay. Dude, my armor's still intact. I don't know why I took so much damage from that creeper explosion. Took like seven hearts. Kevin Hart, seven hearts. Um, oh, holy crap. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, so it's very hard to concentrate and fight at the same time, but I'm going to try my best here. So yeah, as I was saying, um, not for everybody. The game doesn't have very much gameplay, but this, like, just the game itself, it feels very rewarding. Like, actually winning a fight against an AI, even though you know that that's, like, that you've played against a competent, like, the, the AI is very competent. It knows what it's doing, so it, it doesn't feel kind of like the first difficulty of Civ, where you're just stomping all over them and they don't know what they're doing. They feel really competent, and when you do beat the AI at, in one battle, you just feel very rewarded, because it's, the odds are against you. Completely. That game is very, very, um, what's the word? Uh, uh, I don't know. The What I'm looking for is, I don't know. Anyways, the game The game is very, let's just put it as rewarding. Rewarding is a good word for it. it. It feels very rewarding when you win, and when you lose, you feel very punished. That's the word, punished. It punishes you for losing hard. So, yeah. Fun game. All right, and then the big one. Um, this is what I've been mostly spending my time playing was uh, Dark Souls. Dark Souls. I was told by a friend to go pick it up because it was dirt cheap and he loved the game, so I picked it up and, well, I'm kind of hooked. The game is really fun. Um, it's it's difficult. Now, is it the hardest game ever made? No, not by any means. I mean, I've had trouble with it. Not, not trouble. Like, I haven't been... That's the thing, like, I haven't struggled that much with it. I, I don't know if I'll... I might let's play it in the future, because that game is really fun. I wouldn't mind playing it again. Oh, don't kill me, please. It would make a really entertaining let's play, too, I think. So, if you guys want a Dark Souls let's play, just leave it in the comments. If you watch this far, even, just say uh, if you want a Dark Souls let's play. If you don't, if you don't want one, just be honest with me. You know, if you don't want one, that's cool. But anyways, um... Yeah, it's... That's another game that's very rewarding. When you beat a boss in that game, it's like, yeah, I beat something completely against my odds. Because that game is... That game's against your odds. You are not supposed to uh, win that game easily. That that game is supposed to be difficult. It's made to be difficult. There's only one difficulty. You play Dark Souls the Dark Souls way. And... Yeah. So I'm about, I think, three quarters of the way through. Even maybe closer to, like, five-sixths? Four-fifths? Yeah, four fifths. I'd say I'm closer to four fifths of completion because I've beaten almost every boss in that game so far, and I've only had two weeks into it. Or, well, not two weeks of game time because that'd be crazy. I think I'm at 50 hours in that game as well. So I played about the same amount of Europa and Dark Souls, I think. I think they're about in the same vicinity of hours. But yeah, both games, excellent. I've had a lot of fun with them. I picked up Europa for 10 bucks, and I think I picked up Dark Souls for five, so I am very pleased with those purchases. Both of them together just make a perfect bundle because I can go from one to the other. When I get 
tired of Dark Souls or I get start ripping my hair out because at one boss, I can just switch over to the other. But if you are not going to pick up Dark Souls because you're scared of it being hard, um... I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's not that the game is easy, it's just it's not as difficult. Like, you pick up on the game very quick. It's not a game, like, you start to get good at it. Like, it's, it may seem like you're, you're never going to win at the game, and that's not true. If you keep at it and you keep playing it, you will eventually get good at the game. And it turns out that I got good at the game pretty early. I started figuring it out. My friend taught me how to play it. He was a big help. I mean, hey, I couldn't have done it alone. He taught me a whole lot of stuff that was important to me being able to beat the game, like how to how to parry, how to do stuff like that, how to do crit, and then I was just on my way, and I started just rolling through it. Like, one day I beat, like, seven bosses, and well, not seven, like, five, four bosses in that game. Just one day, just sat down and played the four bosses. It was, it's a load of fun. It's a really fun game. And for those of you that don't know what Dark Souls is, I just suggest go check out a video, because it's kind of hard to explain. It's more of like a... Just, if you want a quick comparison, it's kind of like Legend of Zelda, except in a really dark world, like, really, like, I don't know, it's just a really, just really heavy environment. Like, you f very, you, you feel like you're always in a hellish environment. Not, not actually like hell, like, not, there's not flames or anything, but you feel like you're, like, you're always fighting against, you have no hope in that game. That game has zero hope. You're really fighting against something that you know you can't beat. But, yeah, so... It's kind of in that environment, so it's not the same, you know, joyful Zelda, even though some of them were kind of dark, but, yeah, it's not the same joyful feeling of it. It's more, it's more dark, and it's, as people say, very hard, and it is a very difficult game, don't get me wrong. I just didn't find it as challenging as people hyped. People hype it up as saying, you know, hardest game ever made, don't even, like, don't be a casual and try it out, because I was a casual gamer before, I'm pretty casual at, this, at gaming, I don't really go all hardcore, like, I mean... Sure, I like to be good at games, but I'm not I'm not that good. Like, I, I get beaten by my friends at stuff all the time. All, at all the games I play, I get beaten by my friends, which I don't, I don't have a problem with. I don't care if they beat me, because I know I'm not that great at games. I just have fun playing them. But even then, me being, you know, just average guy who has never played a Dark Souls game before, or even played Dark Souls, or never even played most Legend of Zelda games, or anything let alone like that, any third-person action whatever you call those games um i did fine and you know what if you see if you look at some videos and you seem kind of interested i'd say pick it up it's a really fun time you'll really enjoy it really worth your money all right so that's pretty much everything i had to say um i had a pretty good week um that might be why there was a lack of uploads this week to be honest it was not for anything more important than that it was just that dark souls and europa have been eating up my life and i cannot stop but don't worry uploads are resuming as you can see today i am uploading so yeah um that's gonna be it for my talking part of this video um, i'm gonna just dig up here and we're gonna go check out what everybody's been doing on the server this week so i guess i'll see you guys at the surface welcome back to the surface um here we are in our little house temporary house thing um i know that wes has been playing so i guess i'll see what wes has been up to this week um we haven't spoken really this week at all so i guess we'll see what he's been up to um, so here's just the house. I don't think anything's changed. I checked down there, nothing changed there. So let's just check up here. The tunnel's the same. And yeah, everything seems to be the same up here. So it doesn't seem like anything's been changed in our main base. But Wes, no, Wes did tell me something. He told me that he started making a shop. So I'm curious to see that as we do the tour. Here's Chubby's little thing he built. Um, that's still there. I don't know, the building shop, I think that's what it's called. I remember seeing that. This is new, though. This is a really cool house. I like it a lot. This is, uh, Jeremy's Spawn House. I really like it. Um, I really like the design of it. I, I could never build something like this, because it's, there's just too much, there's too many intricacies with it, and it's just too complicated. I mean, I'm not one to build stuff like this. Complicated stuff? Nah, it's not me. But, yeah, very well done, Jeremy, by the way. If you're watching this video, which, I don't know, you might be. Um, very well done. I'm very impressed with the design of the house. Uh, and across the street here, random book enchant one iron out of order. I don't know what this is. Um, I don't know how it works because, well, redstone. But I think it gives you a random book enchant if you put one iron in there. I'm not going to give it a shot because it says out of order and I would be stupid to do it. But, hey, whatever. Um, Marcus's stone shop. We saw that last episode, I think. What is this? Uh, Zach's dollar store. Oh, dollar store. Okay. Smooth stone, 11 per 16. Oh. Oh. Hmm. One iron per 16. 
I might come back for that because we're going to need a lot of uh, smooth stone for our base. Uh, bones, one iron per 16. Spider eyes, one iron per one. Wow. Rotten flesh, one per 12. Oak leaves, one per eight. Pretty good deals here. Um, arrows, cobblestone, lapis, sugarcane, redstone, gunpowder, and oh, pay here. All right, cool. Really, really cool idea. I like that shop at all, a lot. Uh, what is this? Um, mob loots, rare items, and coal. Place payment in hopper. I think this is what Wes built. Slime ball, spider eye. I, I don't know though. I, I've got no idea. Um, I think Wes told me we're building a mob. Huh? Where does this go? Okay. I think Wes told me we're building a mob. Uh, mob drop shop. Wow, that's a tough thing to say. Uh, because we have the we have we can or we built the grinder up there. So I think we'll be the ones building that. I don't know. I'll have to talk to him next episode then. What is this? Uh, welcome to the ETH Mart for all your crappy needs. Okay, so this is Ethan's store. He sells a lot of stuff actually. Wow, a lot of wood, obsidian. Yeah, he sells pretty much everything. I mean, uh, bargain barrel all items in a stack go for one iron. There's nothing in there. Okay, please pay here. Okay, cool. So not much there, but I mean, it looks like it's got a lot of potential. What is this? Um, instructions and payments, rods and fish. Oh, so this is like a little fishing thing. That's cool. It's clever. All right. What do I have over here? Uh, Liam's food shop. Okay, so Liam's got a little food shop set up there. Nice. Don't need to show what the chests are because I think everybody knows what the food is in Minecraft at least. Um, yeah, I think that's everything that's new. Um, I, th I thought there was more. Um, I really like this house still to this day. I really like that house. Um, the strip mine. Let's see if anybody started strip mining. I don't know if anybody has. Hmm, don't remember that being there. Okay, so we go. I think it, I think it's still up. Oh, somebody kind of started there. I don't know. Up here, and our base sort of cut into the strip mine. So now you got to go around like that. Sort of a bit of a detour. Not much though. And if we go down here, I don't think anybody started. But I didn't check, so I guess maybe somebody could. Oh, look at that. Somebody started here. Wow. Long tunnel. Okay. And, oh, somebody started there as well. And somebody started there. Somebody started there. Somebody started. Wow. People have been working hard. Holy crap. Liam's mine. Okay. And Liam actually marked his mine. That's good. Um, so, yeah. Seems like kind of a mess of shafts. But, hey, good thing that people are using it. I mean, I built it so that people would use it. And people are using it. That's good. All right, so that's about it. Um, that's going to be the episode for today. Um, kind of uneventful. I mean, it's still the building phase, so we're still trying to build up our inventory of stuff so we can start building bases. If you remember Amplified Survival, if you can go back that far, um, it all started like this, too. We started with a lot of mining, a lot of you know gathering resources, and then we got to a certain point where we had so many resources, we were ready to actually build stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing in this series as well. I apologize if there's a lot of uh, sort of just me talking. Oh, the sheep pen filled up. That's good. If there's a lot of just me talking, well, that's sort of what I do. So if you're not into that kind of thing, I apologize. This might not be the channel for you. So yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, you can leave a like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate it. Same for three likes on this video. And yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.